everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Wayne Jensen and I created this channel and today I'm going to be doing the guided project 1-1, standardizing data. So we're going to be using Power Query to do that. Um, if, you, if this is your first time to my channel, you might want to consider uh, subscribing and becoming a member of my channel so that you can have access to all the exclusive content, uh, which is primarily the advanced projects and independent projects. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll click on the start file, download that. Once that's downloaded, we'll open it up and we'll want to click on the enable editing button and then we're on to the next step. So for step two, it says to review the codes, what they look like. So in column B, you've got the original codes, column E, you've got the desired codes. The main difference is some of these have a dash D after them in the original codes. In the desired codes, they don't. So we're going to be using data or power query rather to transform the data. So the first thing we're going to do, which is in step three, um, we're going to select the original codes. So I'll just click on the, and select um, B3 through B25. And then we're going to navigate to the data tab and we're going to get and transform data from the table range. Click on this from table range. And we want to make sure that uh, this has the right range of data, which is B3 through B25. And we want to make sure that this My Table Has Headers checkbox is checked. And then we can click OK. And then we're going to rename the Table 1 query to Shipping Codes. So um, if your columns don't look the same as what's in the instructions, you can click on the View tab here. And we're going to want to select the column distribution and column quality. Make sure that those are selected. And uh, so we want to rename this query, first of all, this is step three, to shipping codes. So over here in the name and the property sections under this query settings tab, right here, we're going to put shipping codes like that. And then um, we're going to split the original this is step five we're going to split the original codes column by delimiter so we're going to navigate to the go ahead and hit enter to make sure that the name is changed to shipping codes so then we're going to navigate to the transform tab go up here click on the transform tab and if you get this just click got it and uh and then we're going to notice that in the split column window uh power query has um will default to a dash as the, oh, okay, first we need to navigate to the transform ribbon and then the text column split columns right here. And then we want to do it by delimiter. And you'll notice that it defaults to a dash in that custom delimiter. And we want to make sure that this, each occurrence of the delimiter button is selected. And if you look at the instructions in 5C, it shows the diagram. Um, and you want to make sure that you've got the dash here and that this radio button is selected and then just click OK. And now we'll have three columns. So, and the contents in column three are null if there's no loading dock indicated. OK, so for step six, we're going to look at the original codes.2 column. And because the Power Query performed an automatic change type step, you've lost the leading zero in that column. Remember, there used to be a leading zero on at least some of these. Um, so we're going to, um, it says also notice that the Power Query automatically changed the original codes.2 to a numeric column. See, and we can tell this by, it says one, two, three. If it says ABC, that's a data column. One, two, three indicates a numeric column. So it changed that to a numeric column. Okay, so we're gonna remove the change type step. So click the red X here next where it says change type in the applied steps, and we're gonna delete that. And now we've got our zeros back, okay? And all three columns are now data type instead of the one being the numeric type. Okay, then for step um, eight, we're gonna use the merge columns to put the columns back together. So first of all, we wanna select the original codes column by clicking on that column header, original codes one, dot one, and then hold the control button down and select the original codes dot three column. 
Now both of those are selected. Then if you right click on the column heading, you can't right click down here below. You have to right click on the column heading of one of those columns and then select merge columns. And then we're going to um, choose how to merge, this is step number nine, how to merge the selected columns. So we're going to rename the new column. It says there should be no separator, so we want to make sure that's none. And then we're going to rename that new column to region doc. And then we're going to click OK. And now the new column will um, appear like it is in figure 12. And it says region doc. And you've got uh, Riverside ID. So it looks just like it is in figure 12. So now it says uh, for step 10, it says merge columns once again, or merge columns once again to create the code exactly as it is needed. So we're going to click on the region dot column first, and then we're going to press the control key and click the original codes dot two column. And then we're going to uh, merge them again. And we're going to select a custom separator and type dash. So go down here and click custom and put dash. And then the new column is going to be corrected codes. So we're going to name it corrected codes. And then click OK. Uh, Notice that the result should look like figure 15 in the instructions, which it does. And for step 11, it says, congratulate yourself. You've completed the assignment in Power Query. It says to close the Power Query editor window and load the data to the worksheet. So when, to do that, we need to go to the Home tab and then click on this Close and Load button. And it loads it to the worksheet with the corrected codes. And then we can. Um, we can close this uh, connections, queries and connections window. Uh, but it should look, our data should look like the figure 17, which it does. And we're ready to save our project file and then load it. So we can go ahead and close it and load it. So we've closed our file. We're going to go back up to the top here and upload it. And it should be in the downloads folder where we downloaded it to. Click open, click submit. And should be 100%. And it is. All right. Hopefully that helped you guys out. If it did, please click on the subscribe and like. And also give strong consideration to becoming a member of the channel. I recommend the gold level membership that will entitle you to all access. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.